Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with episode number 26 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One and we're coming towards the end of the season. We're winding up now towards the end of April, 24th of April 2014. We've got Arsenal visiting us, visiting us at Stamford Bridge. Now we did recently beat them in the last episode in the semi-final of the FA Cup at Wembley on penalties. So no doubt they will be wanting revenge pretty much immediately but as you were able to see as the table disappears as I cut to it, um, we're actually set third now. Spurs have gone above us with uh, with a game in extra play so uh, if we can pick up a result here against Arsenal we will move back up to us to uh, back up to Arsenal we will move back up to second but this game was all about Arturo Vida who had a great shot there and was really unfortunate that it swerved away at the last minute before finding the uh, the bottom corner and we were actually having to rely on Petacek there so we made a mistake in defence playing the ball straight to Giroud and uh, he shot straight at Czech comfortable save and an easy clearance but Vida again doing the work coming forward from that holding role he's been very very good for us this year since we brought him in in January pushing forward does, does so more than Ramirez almost or does so with more effectiveness than Ramirez and he's actually going to get himself onto the score sheet finally here. Lovely uh, couple of through balls. David Luiz to Juan Mata. Slots it through to Arturo Vidal. Gets his goal five minutes before half time. And we take the 1 0 lead that we've been trying to get and uh, failing to get up until that point. But uh, very, very pleased to take the lead just before half time. It's a fantastic time to, uh, to go in front. It kind of knocks the confidence of the opposition as they go in for the break. And then they're not really too sure whether to, uh, to stay playing the way they are because they held you up for so long and try and nick a goal back or whether to change their ethos completely and really go at you for the second half but they decided to uh, to actually firm up defensively and try and catch me on the counter attack which is a really, which is a really weird tactic after going 1-0 down away from home but it was Danilo with the next effort for us there whistling that one just over the top of the bar it was actually closer than it initially looked uh, to be fairness to Danilo and he's actually not Cesar Azpilicueta out of the first team recently his performance has been particularly impressive and he has been keeping Cesar out of the first team so uh, Danilo playing very very well for us so far this season extremely pleased with both he and Arturo Vido in this game and their progress overall as uh, as players in the club and almost getting a second there again Vido just whiskers away so many chances in this game went just wide of the far post and uh, unfortunately, well, unfortunately for Arsenal fortunately for us we were able to run out 1-0 winners in the end so we're actually going to cut back to uh, the Premier League yet again just three days later another very very tough test away at Liverpool it really doesn't get any easier does it as we as we head into the last few games of the season we're playing a rotation side as you may expect having just played a game against a, a massive you know kind of physical effort game against Arsenal and uh, this one was again really really energetic end-to-end -end stuff but as you can see on your screen even though we've got two games in hand Manchester City are just too far in front of us in the Premier League right now so uh, they have actually genuinely won the Premier League title now so unfortunately we won't be able to bring that piece of silverware back to Stamford Bridge this particular opening season but we have already won the Capital One Cup we threw to the final of the FA Cup and the next game in this series in this series in this episode is a uh, yeah, the Champions League semi-final against Juve, but we came very, very close again through Oscar there. So many chances in uh, these opening couple of games that just went this is wide of the woodwork. And, uh, you know, we, there could have been so many goals in the Arsenal game. And equally, there could have been so many goals in this game against Liverpool. We come to half-time now, and we're actually going to make a mistake. I tried to play long towards Diego Costa. They're actually going to get the ball back and counter on me. Steven Gerrard's going to slot through uh, Victor Moses, who really shouldn't be playing against this. It's kind of a, a weird thing with FIFA, for, or any FIFA, actually, career mode. Um, obviously Victor Moses is out on loan at Liverpool from us and in real life he has a clause in his contract saying that uh, he can't play against his parent club similarly with Romelu Lukaku was the same at West Brom last year and at Everton this year but uh, clearly for FIFA terms they're allowed to play against us and we came so close again to scoring a goal to go 1-0 up at Samuel Eto this time cutting inside finding himself hitting the inside of the woodwork and De Chilio now is the other wing back proving his worth going forward and again just whiskers wide of that post we just can't get the breakthrough in this particular game and it's actually Liverpool that are going to have themselves a couple of chances now Victor Moses goes on a wonderful twisty turny run and uh, I keep I keep getting uh, kind of concerned that I'm leaving players in too much space so I try and close down the space but leave the man on the ball open and I do the same again here with uh, Iago Aspas easily takes it around the defender and we're fortunate that he's wasteful with the effort again as you may have expected just a sliver past the woodwork and uh, it stays at 0-0 but we're pushing towards the end of the game now and Diego Costa is going to play the ball out wide to Willian he's going to play the 1-2 eventually lift the ball up stand it up Diego Costa gets a good head in but uh, fortunately for Liverpool Simon Minnelay is able to make the save 
save and it was sneaking in under that post so it was a save he had to make but Frank Lampard's going to whip the corner in obviously still has one of the best deliveries in the world of football and Diego Costa gets on it again and one handed save from Mignolet again and we're back out for another corner from Frank Lampard the pressure is building can we get a goal towards the end of the game Frank's going to whip it in again the ball is going to get one in the middle by Gary Cahill I think it is in the end and there's a bit of a mix up between the goalkeeper and the defender and it's so close to squirming over that goal line the uh, of course in real life the referee has a, uh, a wristwatch now that vibrates if the ball crosses the line with the, the new goal line technology etc that they have in the Premier League right now and unfortunately that isn't in FIFA right now but perhaps for FIFA 15 it might be we'll have to wait and see if they bring it in for next gen etc something I actually haven't uh, really uh, put too much thought into for uh, for the next uh, the next game but that's still you know nine months away so let's cut back to the Champions League so it's semi-final time second leg time we won the first leg away from home in Turin 1-0 so that puts us in a commanding position but still it's a little bit precarious as we head into this semi-final Bayern Munich are through that is the final two-leg score against Barcelona so uh, whoever wins this one the uh, the the reward for the winner is actually a tie against the German champions and it's us that's going to get an early lead in fact in this one not only a chance this time we do get ourselves onto the score seat Fernando Torres with the header after the Eden Hazard cross but so that actually in terms of the tie doesn't change anything because of course we did score that one away goal in uh, in Italy so Juve needed two coming into the game regardless so that doesn't actually change the outlook of the overall tie so I still had to be very very uh, wary of my defensive defensive ability and defensive you know concentration etc to keep them out and a Carlos Tevez claimed close there really a decent shot but unfortunately for them he did pull it wide of that far post and uh, Andre Scholler scored a worldie against French side Marseille in the quarterfinals and he came Oh, so close to replicating that there with a whip from the edge of the box and a couple of guys in the comments have actually been asking for a, for a goal of the season competition and I would like to put that together actually if I f am able to find the time to uh, to put something like that together and to go back through the uh, the series so far and find um, you know some of the best goals that we've scored in fact if there's a goal that you can remember that you really enjoyed from uh, this particular series then leave a uh, leave a comment in the description in a comment section down below and let me know so I can kind of go back and pinpoint that particular goal and maybe put it in a, in a top five goals of the season etc but Andre Scholl is against um, against Marseille is definitely going to be up there if we make that particular video but we're utilizing the wide areas yet again in uh, in this one Chiellini committed with the header put his defensive partner off and Torres was able to just nip in behind him as Chiellini he misjudged the lunge perhaps he just went overly aggressive at it and just mis misjudged the flight of the ball went over the top of his head and Torres was able to uh, to head the ball into the back of the net two headed goals two goals 3-0 up overall in the tie now and Lichsteiner made a, uh, another decent effort there for Juventus but again similarly to uh, the Tevez effort he just kind of pulled it past the far post and they actually replaced him at half time bringing on pardon me, just bringing on Simone Pepe to add that extra little bit of injection of pace out wide, but it was our own injection of pace of Andre Scherler creating the chance there. A pinpoint crossing towards Juan Mata in the box on the penalty spot, but unfortunately Mata doesn't have the best aerial, little bit, aerial ability, and uh, he wasn't able to put the ball into the back of the net, but they're going to put the ball into the back of the net here. Uh, we have a defensive mix-up, the physics engine just kind of fucks me over really the players just bump into each other and Vucinic is the player on hand to slide the ball underneath the goalkeeper into the back of the net to bring it back to 2-1 on the night and 3-1 on aggregate so were Juve definitely proving that they can score goals against us but uh, it was kind of a mix up on my part so I wasn't too concerned heading into the uh, the last parts of the game and we're going to get another great chance here Mata squares the ball to Hazard man over but another good save from Gianluigi Buffon I kind of wanted Hazard to take that on his right foot and it maybe would have been a more accurate strike had he done so but it wasn't to matter we are going to progress through to the Champions League final and we will face Bayern Munich now of course that it will be a, uh, a replay of the uh, of the final from 2012 where Chelsea came out on top on penalties and of course a replay again of this particular season's Super Cup where they won the Champions League last year we won the Europa League and they actually beat us that time out gaining revenge but obviously you'd rather win the Champions League than the European Super Cup wouldn't you but anyway let's cut back to the action we've got the FA Cup final coming up in a couple of days actually I think the uh, the, not the next episode but the one after that will be a live com of the FA Cup final and then the one after that will be a live com of the Champions League final so we've got it all to come but we're still looking to finish inside those top four places with six points clear of the team in fifth with, uh, with three games of the season left so you would like to think if we were able to pick up 
even just one win from the remaining three games, then we will finish inside those top four places. But of course, it would be nice to finish second if we possibly can. So we'll try and do that in tomorrow's episode. And uh, that is what will be coming to you tomorrow afternoon. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then feel free to do so. There will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen so that you don't miss out on tomorrow's episode and the season finale in the uh, on domestic side of things, at least in the league. And of course, if you missed the previous episode, which came out on Friday, then there will be an annotation on screen over that snippet of gameplay that you can see going on there so that you can check that video but uh, for this one please do feel free to leave it a like if you could be so kind that'd be superb you guys have been showing the channel some amazing support recently we hit 4,400 subscribers yesterday and I know I'm slacking with a Q&A video uh, I'm not sure whether to uh, to wait and do it over like a big pack opening for team of the year etc so maybe we'll uh, we'll hold that off for another week or so but uh, that will be coming to you don't worry I will be doing a, a Q&A video so uh, perhaps we won't call it a 4k special or perhaps we'll just do it ran a random Q&A but the uh, the initial intention was to do it for 4,000 subscribers but as always I'm waffling so I'm going to end it so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time